now I've started a second recording, which is roof plan. I think it's plate um, six. Yep. And so I need a little more information. I have to draw my outer walls. And then I'm going to show you how to draw this roof. Okay, so let me let me also get onto here. Plate five. And I see it's a 36 foot. Oh, this is architectural. Units. Architectural. That's the very first thing I do. And I'm going to save this as plate six. So now from my design center, I'm going to need six. Thin text dimension. I'll put construction on there, and I see that there's some sort of hidden line. But let me do hidden. And I just need to do my walls. I don't need all the rest for my room. My room. So this is 36, 12, 8. 12, 22, okay. So I see how that's going to go. So I'm just going to start drawing. I do want a new layer, and I'm going to call it A dash wall, A dash wall below. And it's going to be red. And it's going to be hidden too. And it's not going to be super thick. Yeah. So now on my wall below layer, I need to draw my wall. I'm going to draw a line. I think I said it was, and I have no clue what my scale is here so far. So let me go 36 feet. Up 12, over 8, then 12. Up 12 feet. Over 8 feet. 12 feet. 22 feet. 6 feet. And I happen to just know these. Now, don't worry that that does not look like a hidden line. Okay. So, now I'll do a quick save again. And I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. So I can see what to do. And I see that these lines are all offset two feet. Let me do that. Offset, two, and I type in the foot symbol because I want it to go two feet. And those are all pieces of roof. So I'm going to put them on my thick layer. Because my roof is drawn on the thick layer. And now I get to use the fillet command. You see how those fill it together? And those fill it together. These fill it. And this is the same process you use even if you're making a roof in Revit. 
you see, Revit does more automatically. Now, this is really cool. These all come at a 45 degree angle. Let me set it's 45. I need to be on my pick. And this is just geometry now. This is just how roofs work. Because the roof slope is always the same. So intersections of lines. of uh, showing where things, um, different planes meet are always 45 degrees. So here comes my fillet again. And now watch, the ridge just goes over until it hits. That's kind of cool. And this ridge just goes over until it hits. And then I have a little bit of trim to do. That is a roof plan. Wow, that is so cool. And so now, I need to put that on a layout. I think this will look best on a B-size layout. I think that's what it says. So I'm going to go to my design center and go to my layouts. Architect architectural B. Now I'm going to get rid of this thing too. There's my architectural B. Did I put depth points in here? Yeah. So now I'm ready to make my layout rectangular. And it doesn't have to take up the whole thing. But I'll make it take up a lot of it. And see how the, the lines come out right now? And let's just see. I think it's probably going to be like a quarter inch equals a foot. Wow, that was, you'd think I'd drawn, drawn this before. And now I just have to put in all that cool stuff that I had. Plate four, uh, four, plate six. So that I get my annotations correct. So now you know how to make an arrow now. So, and, and I'm not, uh, this you can just draw in if you want. You can put it on your model or not. It really should be there and probably that post. But it's not really necessary. This is really what you would look at. So let's see. I need an architectural dim style. And even though this is at, on my piece of paper, my dim style is going to be scale factor one because I'm on my piece of paper. Got to pick the right one. And I'll just say somewhere over here to perpendicular to there. And these should all say dimension. There. There's that one. I don't need this one. So now I, and I want a little multi-leader. I 
and I want to be on my text layer now. my wall below I have something called hip how am I gonna do that DT point one two five high angle 45 hip What about that one? That one should probably be at minus 45. Where's that rotation? Let's see, minus 45. Oh, look at that. It did exactly what I was hoping. I was able just to tell it, change its angle a little bit. Those are the hips, and now I just have ridge. That's how quick, oh, I got one more. That's how quick you can get a roof plan done. Oh, these arrows. Well, you know how to make an arrow now. I'll put them on the thin layer. Polyline. Start point, width, zero, end point, one, eight. Cool. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Did I miss? Oh, because I forgot. I just, I forgot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no. Um, oh, and this one should say valley, not hip. Right? And so if I, if I go about getting this right, There we go. So, but you get the idea, right? Of what goes on with all this. And you can make these longer or shorter or whatever. And these are just the slope lines. Remember that time I used the mirror command. This one's kind of weird that it goes that direction. There we go. I 
what did I do? Not actually mirror that thing? There we go. Well, that's it. And then you would go through and you would... Um, oh, that's called a block reference. I think I showed that to you. You can do ATT edit and fix all that stuff. Or you can just double click on it and fix them one at a time. So there we go. That is your roof plan. It's plate six. And I'll get this recording up in a little while.